The good news is, because video is more expensive, the strategy I'm going to give you, even if you do it on the cheap, uh, with reasonable videos, is going to work for a while until the secret's out, and then everyone's going to have more videos than they have websites, and it's just going to disintegrate. So here comes a terrific strategy. When you click through to more video results, I'm going to back up one. So the first two are a paid campaign for the YouTube only. But the cool part is the same exact order that the videos appear on Google is the same exact order that they appear on YouTube because no coincidence, Google owns YouTube. When you say more results YouTube basket weaving, if I'd have gone straight into YouTube, typed in basket weaving directly, cut out the middleman, this is the exact same order of results. Now let's go to the practical application of, of this. When you type in New York chiropractors, again, a service, right now, at this very nanosecond, when I did that search, there were no video results for New York chiropractors. That exact, and that's not an unrealistic phrase, is it? So there are no video results for New York chiropractors. If Any chiropractors here? So if you were a chiropractor, the strategy is, and I'll go into it again, if you made six or seven or eight small videos, 30 seconds to two minutes a piece, the reason you want to make a handful of videos is because having just one relevant video may not trigger the mixed search results. But if Google's database sees that that subject has a number of videos for it, as I'll show you with one of my clients, because this works, you make enough videos to trigger mixed search results if it doesn't already exist. Lawnmower Repair Huntington, New York, all right? You can actually do this search, say, Lawnmower Repair New York, and the mower shop will come up in any variation. The most important part about this strategy is not how good you are, it's how horrible your competition is. Okay, there, there are some of you who are in an industry that are up against some real tough players, and you can just implement, you know, hire all three of us, and you may not move. Uh, no offense to all three of us, but there are some industries that are so entrenched, like, let's say, try to be the number one online shopping site right now going against Amazon. Good luck with that, okay? But in this particular case, the one more repair industry are Neanderthals, absolute total Neanderthals. So there is absolutely no relevance prior to me coming along with my client and making videos for him. So what we did, we made about seven videos. When you put in, I'll just start with Huntington, one more repair Huntington, right there, Hurricane Irene Generator Repair. That's made by me uh, during Hurricane Irene, put on YouTube, and it's the first thing you see. Now, are you more inclined to click on the ones without the pretty picture or the one with the pretty picture? The picture. So already, it's got a thumbnail. The strategy is actually almost boring you in like a siren going, ooh, look at me, I got a picture. So the strategy is fantastic in that respect alone, that when you click on that, more, okay, that's me. So now when you put in uh, the search of New York on mower repairs, that's us, a little animation. Arthur said animations are fun. This, is, this was a 15 second, hi, I'm the talking on mower. I was teaching myself animation. If you're gonna learn something, you might as well get paid for it. So my client, I just basically just practiced with the lawnmower and I made a mow the talking lawnmower. So a 15 second welcome video, 17 seconds, sorry, is one of the highest tracking lawnmower repair videos on the internet and it goes straight to the mower shop as a business. Followed also with its buddy, lawnmower repair, the mower shop, Huntington Station, New York, which is another video we made that's three minutes about lawnmower repair. We made variations, chainsaw repair, generator repair, Hurricane Irene generator repair. So we made the eight or nine videos that we needed. So when you click on more results, that's us, that's us, that's not us. Where'd that come from? The first three right here, you can have up to six or seven videos of just us. Find open keywords. So I have a slide for that. Make many videos. And the description is absolutely most important, all right? I mean, there's a picture right there of somebody holding a rubber chicken. Your whole video can be somebody holding a rubber chicken going like this, right? Your whole video can be that. But if you describe it when you load it, upload it to YouTube as being lawn mower repair, Huntington Station, New York, the mower shop repairs, lawn mowers, chainsaws, whatever, what's gonna happen is you'll get found because your description is exactly the keywords, but the, the mob 
will be very disappointed when they see it's just some person shaking a rubber chicken and they're going to start giving you the thumbs down and you'll never be found again. <laughs>